Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. Time for some more scavenging as we are getting more resources. It's a bit of a grind, I feel, but um, yeah, uh, you gotta get those resources, I suppose. Warning, scavenging missions are much more dangerous uh, if within a mist zone. If that's the case. Yep, that is the case. Cool. Threat level extreme. Well, here we go. All right, we landed. Looks like another day in paradise. Five by five. I'm wondering who are we going to take first? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Well, moving. I think you can make an argument that the tower up here would be quite good. Um Doing it. Moving over. Taking aim. I think we haven't we haven't been spotted out yet, so I don't want uh, them to spot us out. Taking those two crates and maybe see how far we can get afterwards. Good, there's a spawner over there. Not sure what exactly it does outside of the colonies. Advancing. But I'm pretty sure that I want it gone. I've got a visual. Moving to coordinates. Okay, spotting out quite a few enemies uh, there hostile spotted serious a a on the move. decent position for us overwatching all right grell moves over front lines for us okay <laughs> So does that mean we're all getting minus one will point? Or is it just Enemy in the contact. direct proximity? Those things, by the way, are dangerous. I want to kill them ASAP. Wow, so many enemies. That is going to be an intense mission. Here. As always, straight into the ass. Ready to fire. Holding a 
position. Good, we're overwatching. Receiving. Are we losing will points? No, we are not. That one. I'll be right there. Rolling. Good, this guy is too far away. No damage, holy. Well, the new enemies make it a bit harder, I can see, although on paper they might just look like having a few more hit points here and there. It's just the amount of armor and all of the other things that adds up over time. Oh, mine fragrance. How convenient. Well, that's two, four, six, eight aliens on this side, and we're not necessarily having the numbers on them. Okay, and the grenade wouldn't even kill a single one of them immediately. Interesting. Okay, well, now is a good time for damage, Dilly. I need damage and I need a lot of it. Good, moving over. Five by five. War cry, yep, would affect him. Perfect. Warcry still affects him. Okay, there we go. That's important because then he can't move into melee and 
Yeah, that's just Overwatch. Okay, cool. She's bleeding. Not dead yet. We have a plan? I hope this helps. into full cover bleeding for 10 still too many hit points I need good aiming angles from the side here to get that guy down Okay, intense fight on two fronts. I haven't even really tried to get crates so far. Just dealing with the amount of enemies that are spawning. takes quite a bit of damage. I was hoping that that would not happen. Come on. Come on. Really? One more. What are we doing? Unfortunately, we're not going to get that back. Uh, the ability points here. I wonder, Siren not quite dead yet, there's another Mind Fragger, uh, Fragger. Ready to roll. We're still dealing with these stupid worms. I'm here. Another war cry. <laughs> The movement over here. Just need the right angle. Finally, something positive. But that at least takes away a lot of its 
immediate power. Good, my problem here is can't let the siren live. It's completely wasted action. Ready, sort of. Oh, out of ammunition. Okay, never mind. Another siren spawns. Wow. And we're just really getting overrun. Maybe the right play would have been everybody goes to one side. Maybe. Dilly definitely needs to heal. The problem is we're being effectively action controlled with continuously being uh, put on the back foot with these worms. At the same time, I really don't see how I could have done much better with three people on this side here. Turn around. Nope, that's what's wrong. Still wrong. I think that's the best we get, and that's a miss. Okay, well, that's problematic. War cry. Can we dash? No, we cannot. Can't let him be mind controlled either. Only three will points, six will points, double dash could lead to here. All right. Bit of a Hail Mary play. Changing sides. Okay, well, that at least worked because now we can unravel this mess of a situation, which is jump over. Hit. Yeah, just continue to kill him. Overwatch, good. One down. Reload. Two down. Oh, there's another melee coming in. Mm. Trying to reposition. This guy is going to run away. Killed his arms. Something positive. Maybe I need bigger spots to do those missions. Something is not right if. We're essentially spending two people just to keep 
this guy get busy. Hit our own guy. Not good. No! Okay, I think we finally got a better position on that right-hand flank. Certainly doesn't help when new enemies arrive. Eventually going to get some damage here. Really, really solid damage from Dilly. I can't tell if it's infected. Okay, I would say this side here is stabilized, more or less. Warcry does not have enough action points. That's yeah, that's a problem. Out. But we're moving back and bringing this bringing this melee alien to our uh, to our remaining forces i should have from the very get go just kept everybody together oh, wonderful mind controlled Damn it. More coming. Oh my gosh. So, for starters, you need to. Secondly. I need a med kit. Identifying target. Thirdly, that guy needs to go down.
out of focus. Good, that breaks mind control. Billy has no more ammunition. Uh, no more time units. Oh boy, this is a hard encounter. And we haven't even looted a single chest so far. Just a warning shot. That sucked. Like big times. down. Oh, how many shots is she taking? It's unbelievable. Immune to mind control. Time. Good. Ian begins to move closer towards chests, which, mind you, is the whole idea of what we wanted to do in the beginning. Jericho Gauss Defender. I think it looks like the new Jericho shotgun. Okay, I think we can work with that. let this guy come a bit closer Pushing on. meanwhile we're finally moving towards getting some of the chests okay that was a mistake dude you have literally picked the wrong person. But we're trying our best to just get out of uh, get as much out of here as possible i think now is a good time to go to the retreat advancing ian moves over here we're playing with the fact that he can for free 
take on all of these items. Oh yeah, that's good loot. Like it. Marduk's fist. Oh, I thought that was a unique hammer, but it was not. Would have been cool if we see, like, unique weapons here. Okay, moving over. Grabbing the loot. And Dilly is halfway halfway out of here. Oh, we're going to take that other exit. Much better. ahead I'll be right there okay the idea would be to very soon get out of here to run out. Rel takes the shotgun, begins to run out. So both of uh, both of them will get out very soon. Dashing. Moving to coordinates. And just moving out. Could have maybe gotten one more chest. But every everything else now is just becoming a risk. In my perspective, we already fought way too hard for what we've gotten. And potentially all of the repairs and so on will just barely cover what we are getting. But on the other hand, I think we've got a decent experience. The uplos here, they are a problem. I don't yet know how to perfectly deal with them. My biggest issue is... Unless I do have a pistol with one action point or some a some massive AOE damage, I don't see how we can overcome three spawns every single time. Because keep in mind, every sp uh, every one action from them triggers three, so that requires at least two uh, of our soldiers with assault rifles to counteract. For fighting one, that's fine, the action economy is on our side, but we had eight enemies on one side and that thing peppering us on top. 
So yeah, that was a net negative mission, I think. Broken augmented body part? What does that mean? Yeah, uh, okay, so what exactly does broken augmented body part mean? An ally within 10 tiles recovers or an ally within 10 tiles recovers two action points limits to one use per turn. So it's essentially giving over ability points. I think we're going with more accuracy for now. Good, here he has plus two strength, plus 20 accuracy. Why am I not seeing more encumbrance if he has more strength? I mean, accuracy went up, okay, but why am I not seeing more strength? Okay, that is fantastic. We're definitely taking no reload uh, times. Need that here as well, ready for action. Euler definitely needs it, but he also needs quick aim. Okay, repair. I see. We can repair it, which means all I need is a bit of trading here. Tiamat waits there for a bit. Let's trade. Two for twelve is good. Two for ten isn't bad either. Personal. Repair that. Nah, I think we need to go back to the facility. Which makes sense. Look, we're pretty far away from where we used to be. We can't fight. So I think... The honest truth is we need to go back to trade the class soon I'm going to be okay. Our other troops are fine. Tiamat looks okay with the exception of Birdie. Just need to keep uh, keep Birdie a little bit behind. Can't go there. I 
I think that's what we're going to do next. In terms of bases, how is Born in the USA going? Yeah, still, still building a lot of stuff. So our expansion works well. Our little trip to Asia with our primary team um, has now found its end after that last quite heavily fought through mission. Construction complete. Research complete. Good. Infiltrator class. Oh, they have the crossbow, I see. They have a pistol. And I think they are just stealth. E. Yeah, we can free her, but we're going to do that in the next mission. That was it for today. Let's have a last look. Grenade launcher, good. Uh, new technology, fantastic. Uh, that one here pierces, has virus infection. Damage 20 times 3, that's only 60. But there are vi there's virus damage on top of it. That one here just has one action point. Two hands to use, but only one action point. That's actually a good weapon. Lots of good weapons. But yeah, we're going to do that next. Uh, how is personal looking? I think the guys on Tiamat are fine with the exception of Birdie. We need a better repair. This is pathetic. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I need to deal with repairing uh, the cybernetics here and everybody is just low stamina so yeah that's not going to work out well rest looks pretty much okay i can see we have the first uh the first soldier is promoted to level six Level 7 seems to be really, really good. That's kind of the ultimate level, the kernel uh, level. But yeah, Jarang still doesn't have a second class, so might as well look for something that would, um, that would match well with Assault. There are still a few more classes to go. Um, in terms of manufacturing, yeah, we've just barely um, developed all of the stuff I'm I'm doing too many missions too fast but I think that that is actually a good sign uh, because it means we're efficiently using our troops and not sitting on our hands 
I don't know if it's normal we, uh, at 90%, but having three bases seems to work out well. Third base still needs to get up so that we have the scan, but at least these two bases are working quite well. In terms of economy, I'm thinking whether or not after these uh, three bases, whether it just makes sense to continue creating bases here in Africa and yeah, just creating our presence here. That, that might be an idea. I have been a bit lackluster on the trading part, potentially could have done a bit more here. Yeah, so that, that could have overall uh, gotten uh, better. I think with a faster ship to fly from A to B, that also uh, that also would uh, work well. And I'm, I'm still not used to all of the timers. I feel I'm uh, from time to time missing stuff, just not seeing it. Uh, and I don't know if that will add up over time. In terms of exploration, this here would be the next bigger area where I would like to explore. This looks fine. I would want to explore that area with the, what's it called, Manticore that we're, that we're building here. As soon as that's ready, the third team can effectively go on to missions here. Um, in terms of the second team and first team, it seems that many of the missions here are okay now so they are done it's just a question of what are we what are we doing with the resources maybe the second team is actually just flying around trading for now and waiting for any of the havens in africa to be attacked because the ship is not really fast um, the first team is still looking for engagements the nearest from our base naturally would be here so once we're back healing up we might as well do that and we could create a base here just getting that scanning range in and having a landing spot that already would be incredibly helpful cool those are the thoughts about how the campaign is currently going that's actually potentially the next base that i'm building up because it's just in between both and a lot of uh, things are happening here and then the next one would be down here maybe this is the next one I will need to see. Good. Take care, guys. See you in the next episode and have a good day. Bye-bye.